Hi, I'm Matt Towery for Insider Advantage, the Internet News Agency, and our Southern Political Report made up of some of the top reporters in the Southeast. Tom Baxter, a noted journalist, former chief correspondent for uh, political correspondent for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Lee Bandy, who's been with the state newspaper for 40 years. He works with the Insider Advantage team now. And a host of other individuals, from Hastings Wyman, who founded the Southern Political Report, to Gary Reese, who's in charge of our Florida Insider Operation. And of course, uh, my column, which runs in Creator Syndicate across the nation. We're polling and watching the races. Now, a brand new poll, which we revealed uh, actually uh, late uh, on Wednesday, the Obama Clinton battle in South Carolina. 400 sample of likely voter, voters in the Republic, uh, in the Democratic rather, uh, primary to be held there. And Barack Obama's at 41 percent, Hillary Clinton at 31 percent, John Edwards at 13 percent, other candidates 1 percent, undecided 14 percent. Very quickly, here's a rundown. Among African Americans, overwhelmingly for Obama, very little room for that to change in my opinion. It will take some big, big movement by the Clinton organization to change that. Among females, Yes, Hillary Clinton has an advantage, but it's not an overwhelming advantage. Edwards and Obama have their share of female voters. Among men, overwhelmingly, either Obama or Edwards. And Clinton is not doing particularly well with men in South Carolina. And keep this in mind, South Carolina is nearly 50% African American. But among those independent voters who everyone has talked about, and it is an open primary, among the independent voters, Barack Obama leading among those independent voters as well. This looks like a very serious situation for Hillary Clinton. And Hillary Clinton is going to have to decide if she is going to stick to her pledge not to campaign in Florida. Because if South Carolina ends up being a big win for Barack Obama, he may have enough momentum and there may be just a small enough turnout in Florida to take those huge leads that she has in the polls and compress them down to a very close race. If there's a close race in Florida, Hillary Clinton may not survive. We'll be watching that. And later today, we'll be reviewing, uh, this will be uh, on Thursday, the results of our survey both in South Carolina of Republicans and also in Florida, both of Republicans and Democrats. Look for that from the Insider Vantage and from our Southern Political Report. I'm Matt Towery for the entire Insider Vantage organization, the Southern Political Report, and the Internet News Agency. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later.